Well, I am stumped. Um, I went to Best Buy the other day to take a look around, and yippee, you know, hooray, they had the Arcos 5 Android. Why don't I sound impressed? Because I'm not. The device crashed on me twice during my experiences with it. The keyboard was not the best. I ended up typing letters underneath where I thought my thumb was located. And like, I typed the letter underneath where I thought my thumb was located. Um, excuse me. Um, it, it froze twice. Um, so it froze twice. Then I thought about an ebook reader, and in a way, I already have one of those. If you take a look at one of the um, videos I have up, I think I probably put it up last year, about the Plex Talk Pocket. The difference is that unit is primarily for listening to books, not so much as reading them. My vision is good enough to where I can read enlarged books. Unfortunately, a lot of the books that are enlarged are not um, big enough. The Amazon Kindle is supposed to have accessibility next summer, so I might look into that. Maybe. Um, JLS114 and I were talking she really, really got after me. She said, if you have the Plex Talk, why do you need the Kindle? You know, especially if you end up losing your vision. Now, let me be very, very clear on this for those of you who are unaware of it. I can see pretty well out of my left eye at 2070, but my right eye is zero. There is a very, very microscopic chance, the key there being microscopic, it hasn't happened in the past. I, I ended, If you take a look at my ex the video of my experience when I was blind, you will see that I went blind in 2004-2005. I think I may have misspoke on the year, but it's definitely 0405, the school year. Went blind for two months. It's been at least four years since that's happened, and not a single issue has occurred, not a single incident. Every time I go in for a, an eye examination, it's always, you know, everything is looking good. There are no major changes. In fact, my vision has actually increased in the past four years. Um, but there's, but you know, she expressed her very serious concerns, particularly since, you know, since I have the e the Plex Talk, why should I have the ebook reader? And as a result, I decided not to add that to my list. Um, I will make a case on the ebook reader, though, that there's a difference between listening to it and actually reading it with your eyes. You could listen to a word. It's a particularly complex word that is spelled diff differently than it sounds, and then you see it in person, you know, see it on a piece of paper, and you realize, oh my gosh, what is this word? Because you don't know how to properly pronounce it because you've never seen it in print. Um, I can see that as being a problem when it comes to textbooks. That's basically what the ebook reader was going to be used for, was textbooks. Um, but again, she said, well, what if you lose your vision? It wouldn't be any good to you then. So that's why I'm really uncertain about putting that on my list. Um, so that was, so basically the ebook reader, the Alcos 5 Android, both of those are scratched off my list. So those are no-nos, at least for now. Definitely, it's a maybe for the ebook reader, but it definitely not on the uh, Arcos 5. Then there was the PSP Go. Saw it in person. Thought it was okay. Decided against it because um, I already have a current gen game console, two of them. I have the Wii and I have um, and I have um, the DSi. So. Um. You know, I'm just, I'm stumped. 
thought about maybe a next generation iPod Touch. Eh, I don't know. I really don't. I'm stumped. I'm asking you guys to give me some suggestions. So, anything you can think of? Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.